Let's just get this wheel down. <laughs> and then I'm going to put some shafts down. <laughs> oh, god damn it. Bits. What's going on, guys? And welcome to a brand new video. Today, we're going to be playing Timber Boring, a game you guys have requested so much recently over this last couple of weeks and wanted me to play with the beavers. Yes, we're going to make villages. We're going to do some weird physics stuff with water. We're going to make sure we don't die in the drought. And, uh, and yeah, let's get right into this. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is name our, well, colony. I'm going to call it Melon Juice. Melon Juice Incorporated. Right? We're going to go with, <laughs> we're going to go with this. Right. So here we go. We've got our first couple of beavers. And yes, if you look up here, we can name them. So leave a comment if you want to be named a beaver. And I will get to it in maybe a few episodes. Who knows? Depending on where we get up to in this one or the next one. And how long I'm doing some recordings for. So actually, let's name the first one me. We're going to go with Bits. Bits. Dome. And the first thing we need to do is we need to start putting some uh, lumberjack flags down. So we need to put this, say, uh, around... Let's let's just kind of sh shove it here. Um, Let's put two down. We'll get two workers on that. Wait. And I just realized they're the wrong god down. Stop! We're already messing up. Yes. Yes. I should have just dragged. Let's start that again, shall we? Get two of you. Rotate you that way. There we go. And now we can just get a road. And build that across. Attach that to there. And they can start building that. Now, I want to start designating the area we want to start marking to cut for trees. And we're just going to go straight along here and get all these cut. And get all them done. So, are you going to build that now? There we go. Both of them are now built. And now, what we need to do is we need to add a water pump. Otherwise, uh, our beavers are not going to be able to hydrate. So, I'm just going to go in this location. Oh, no. We could actually... Let's scoop that over just just by one. Um, remove that. Let's get some water and place you there. Then I can align my path from here all the way down. So they should now build that. Let's let's pick up the speed a little bit because we can fast forward. Uh, get this built and we can see we need 12 logs for this. So it's going up pretty fast just depending on how long it takes for these beavers to cut this down. But I think once we've done this, let's get some small storages down. So we can, you know, at least store our water. So, you know, if a drought comes, we're not going to have any issues. Just remember, we're going to need a water path just down there as well. And then I would like to start looking at getting a farm, uh, farm down. So maybe we go here and do a big carrot farm. A uh, big boy carrot for him. That should be all right, right? Keep the, bizzers, uh, the beavers working. Speaking of working, I've actually got three beavers who are unemployed right now. So I need to assign more jobs. And if I go into here, into the district, I can assign two more beavers. And now we've only got one unemployed, which should be fine once we get this built. But what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to prioritize this build to get done first. We do have one storage being filled with water right now, but we don't have any form of food. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a road going this way. Just like that. So then I've connected up to this, this little staircase here. I was doing a live stream and I was trying to build some stairs here and I did not see these here. So... For all those people who have come over from the live stream to watch this playthrough, hello, and don't laugh, okay? Um, so next, what I want to do is, um, I want to add a da -da -da -da, collector bush, so a gatherer flag. We want to attach this to the road here, and we want a beaver to work this job to collect these berries here, because I think I'm going to remove this one. Right, so it's a new day, and we do now have a farm being grown. Also, what I've had to do, I've had to remove a worker from here, put him onto the berries, and get one worker on the farm, because we just don't have it enough. Actually, we've got one that's... Oh, let's get a second one on here, then. Let's get a second one on there. So now we've got, I think... Oh, yeah, that's why. Because we can see down here that two beavers have actually just grown up. So, yeah. So now we've done that, I want to start looking at houses. And I also want to look at some log storage 
So I think I'm just going to place this. Uh, bada bosh. Just there. We'll go for a log storage here. All the logs won't get collected in here because, you know, the. As you can tell down here, only one of 20 can be collected in this. Where this is, I think, 180. Yeah, 180. Um, so now that we've got that, let's also start looking at houses. Uh, so let's just kind of slow the game down a little bit here. And let's have like a, a little house district over here. But I don't want them to travel too far. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of go from um, one, two, three, four four and then we'll get the mirrored ones and flip it on this side oh it doesn't really matter i suppose it keeps my menus clean two three four and then we'll put a path through the middle just like that so then we've got houses and these each house three i believe right i think it's three yeah inhabitants three and it also gives us basic needs sleep and basic needs shelter but we also need to look at leisure so we want to start looking at campfires and also rooftop terraces but for us to have rooftop terraces, we need research because we do need to unlock these. And as you can see here, um, this is costing us, what, 70 research points to unlock. And we don't have any. So we do need to get that. So I'm going to place the research building down. I'm going to place this at the side of the main, the main building, I suppose. Uh, and get that being done. Okay, there we go. We now have the houses done and we have the research. But we have a bit of a problem. We're actually low on beavers and uh, everyone's assigned a job. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the builder's hut and remove one worker so they can work in the research lab. So now we can see that this is turning and it means it's activated because the person we just moved from here has gone to work here. Now we've done that. We've got the water, which is full down here. We are being uh, are harvesting and I would technically like to put down a storage which i forgot to do um so let's kind of put down um where can we put these i got i, I kind of want down here to be the automation stuff with the the wheel and stuff like the uh all that so i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to put a storage here and a storage here but what i'm going to do is i'm going to sign one of these just to be carrots um, I kind of want to, uh, like, when I, every time I build a farm or wherever I build a certain location, I want that to have its own storage. Um, and that can be transferred later with our uh, other stuff. I've also placed this down as well. I've now added this uh, so the beavers can start, you know, working here. But nothing to do in range. Oh, actually, I didn't assign the goddamn trees to be cut. Rip. Aruni, they're already replanting as they're being harvested, which is keeping optimal. Actually, we can see that this is already 50, near enough fifty percent growth. Growth? The growth progress is already near enough fifty percent. That makes sense. Ah, oh, we have a problem. The alarm's going off. We have a drought in three days, so we need to prepare. And hopefully, what I'm going to try and do real quick, if we can do this, um, is quickly get a dam being built. I want a dam, like, can we go, like, along, along here? So we can collect the water from here. Because I want the, I want the, if you notice, look at the water height here. Once we, if we get that dam built as soon as, we can actually uh, raise the water level um, of this river. So it will last longer during the drought. And it might, might just be enough for us to kind of hold this water. And we can still get water here, just, you know, so it is there for a backup. So we're going to build a little dam here. And then I suppose that does give us access across here as well to maybe utilize this side of the water and maybe come down here to build another village. Who knows? Oh, whoa. What the? What is that? I suppose we've got to dig around that, right? We'll have to use like dynamite. We've got all this and we actually use this to uh, get iron. Is there any over here? Oh, there is. There's one right there. Yes, yeah, so maybe we do go around here. So we just need this bill by the time it's over with. So I want this to be set as high priority. Um, we want that done ASAP. I want this built by tomorrow. It needs to be done. But I, oh, research as well. I want the forestry. Forestry, forestry, forestry. That. We don't have enough points. God damn it. We need 60. We've only got 33. So we need this wood to get done ASAP. Because these cost 20 logs we need for each of these. 20, so we need 100. Quick maths. We need 100 for these rest of these five. And these are taking some time. We don't have enough logs in there. 
We're not going to get this done. Yep, it's definitely not going to be done. We've got half a day to get two of these blocks done. And it's about to go night time. We know we're going to be able to get it done. God damn it. It's fine. We've got. I think we've got enough water to last us. How long is the drought going to last us for? I don't know if it's going to be a couple of days. This is the first one, so it shouldn't last that long. It shouldn't last that long, but we're not going to get any water down here. Ah, oh, that sucks. I wanted this to be done. I can't even see. It says build progress 100%, but... Oh, that's the path. I'm clicking on the path. I'm clicking on the... Yeah! <laughs> God damn it. Right, so we've got the wood being chopped down there. Wood's being chopped here as well. The drought is here, so we can see... Wait. Is this water not going down? Wait, are we actually holding it? Wait, have we slowed down? Oh, we've actually slowed the water down so it actually holds a little bit longer. Oh my god. I'm a genius. This was intentional. I did this on purpose so we can slow it down at least. Oh, now he's gone. Oh, I thought we was going to be fine. Rip. Well, anyway, now we've got to go through this drought. We've got 1.9 days until we come back to normality. Um, that means are our carrots going to be okay. It's drying out and we'll die in 1.6 days. You guys need to work. Get to work fast. Right, whilst this is happening then, we've got this wood being done. The dam is now built a little bit too late. But let's get like a social area. So let's have a look at leisure and let's get like a little campfire going. And we're going to put this at the back of the buildings. So let's kind of spin around here. And this is kind of like um, like a little meeting meeting location here. This is where they can socialize, you know, get good friends, all this kind of stuff. And uh, become happy chappies. Well, happy beavers. I think what I'm going to do as well is once we get enough research points... I'm actually going to put more houses on top of this because we can stack them, right? So if we look at the houses, we can actually stack on top of this. And what we do is we go to the paths and we actually build some stairs from here. And we can build stairs here and bit like a like an apartment block, kind of. I think that's what I might do, which can, could be kind of cool. Remember, guys, as well, if you're enjoying this video, give it a big old thumbs up because it does help me fight against the algorithm to get to more people as well. And the drought has now ended. So where's my water? Come back to me. Here it comes. I'm so obsessed with how this looks. It's just so satisfying. You know, just kind of see it and just life coming back to this desolate land. Things are green again. And then we can get things moving. Once this gets here, I do want to start looking at now. Um, well, we need... Oh, we've got the research points. Never mind. Forget what I was going to do. I need to unlock this. Yes. And we need to put this down. And what this is is this is our little forestry place. So we need that to be built. And that means we can now plant trees. So I'm actually going to unlock uh, plant pine trees. And we're going to put this behind here like this. So now they're going to plant trees. Well, whoever works here is going to plant trees. And then these two will obviously harvest them. So we don't need to worry about, you know, going around grabbing these trees, these trees, these trees anymore. We can actually grow these. On Wait, are we? Uh-oh. Oh, we actually ran out of water. Well, that's fine because the drought... Hey, we just survived, I suppose. We, But during them three days of drought, we actually went through the four buckets. Um, so we kind of need to prepare for the next time. But actually, we kind of already have because we have this dam here now. So I suppose that's fine. Um, I think what I want to do now is start looking into some automation. And we want to add like a water wheel. We're going to add a water wheel down here with a couple of the uh, shafts. It's a good word, that isn't it? Shaft. Shaft. <laughs> it's like the word moist. Moist. It just rolls off your tongue. <laughs> There's probably some people going to write in the comments now that's like, mm, that's, that's a horrible word, bits. Shut up. <laughs> I don't want to know about moist and shaft. Oh, actually, put them both together. It doesn't... Yeah, okay. Never mind. We're not going down that road. Anyway, next, let's start looking at... God damn it. <laughs> oh, God. God, my eyes are sweating. Oh, God. I don't know why I make myself laugh. I think what it is is because I'm 
laughing because I'm picturing your guys' reaction to me saying that, and then I'm seeing it from a viewer's perspective. I think that's what it is. <laughs> that's what makes me laugh all the time. But anyway, let's get this wheel down. <laughs> and then I'm going to put some shafts down. <laughs> Oh, God damn it. Bits. Put, put yourself back together. God damn it. Get a hold of yourself. Hold of yourself. <laughs> Not the shaft. <laughs> okay. I'm such a child. Jesus. I'm 31 in a couple of weeks. Holy crap. Right. Let's, let's get this and let's remove this. And I want to delete these trees. Let's just delete them. Let's get rid of them. We've got to stop being grown. It's fine. We're not even doing anything with them anyway. So let's speed up time here. Uh, let's get everybody moving. The water... Maybe I need to put a second pump down. I think we need to, you know? I think we need a second water pump. Let's, let's do that. We're not keeping up with the water demand right now. So let's prioritize this. And, uh, and that, to be honest. Wait, I didn't even select them. Oh my god, it's Oh my god. Wait, does that need planks, doesn't it? <gasps> it does need planks. Oh, no, 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 no. We can't do that then. Damn it. Okay. So this needs planks. So this does need automation. So we need to get that down like instantly. Okay, so whilst whilst they're kind of building this wheel, I've noticed I've got eight unemployed workers. So I'm actually going to put down a hauling post. Um, and I'm going to put that down um, here, just behind. Yeah, that works. We'll put that down here. So this, I'm going to prioritize this, please. Beavers, ripper, well, build. Um, uh, oh, we've actually got a job there somebody can get into. Um, but yeah, I want to get the hauling post because that's going to give us more... We need food. Oh, God. Uh, we need to look at a, possibly a second farm. How much are these? It's watered and alive. 95%. Okay, we don't have any food. We've got a couple of berries, but it's not enough. I think we need a second farm, you know? You know? I think we need to look at a second farm. Or maybe extend this one, just so we have a bit more. Should we do that? And maybe put a second house. We've got four workers on here. You, two, hello? There we go. To there. And then I want to get farmland and do some more. I could put potatoes down, maybe. Uh, but we're going to extend that here. So we've got a bigger farmland as well. Maybe I'll do some potatoes down here. Maybe. Uh, but I'm going to put the automation stuff down here first as well. But this is a lot of work that needs doing. So I guess I can just skip ahead. Right? Bits, if you're editing this, do you want to skip ahead? No? Yes? Take your pick? Maybe? I don't know. Did he do it? <laughs> I don't know. This wheel is now completed. I now need to put down a um, plank mill, right? We're gonna put this down. Um, I, I say we can just we can just put it down just here, right? Let's put it down just there, and then anything that attaches to this. So if I put another one here, this one will get powered as well. But we need at least one of them to be powered. So let's get some shafts and just connect that straight to there. Let's just do that. So that means that this will then get powered and any adjacent uh, places, uh, buildings I attach onto this will also get powered as well. But this produces power output, 156 HP. It's like a bloody Pokemon card. Um, but 159 horsepower, I'm guessing, right? So now let's just add a pathway to the front of this building. And then what I'm going to do as well is we are pretty short on logs right now and that's getting a, a bit of a worry. Because this is being cut down, and that's literally it that we've got there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to deprioritize um, this building, and I want to prioritize that one. We need this one to be done, right? So that needs seven planks, and this is what we need doing, and it's only seven logs away. So that should get completed the next day. And there we go. It's now up and running, but we do have another drought coming in 2.8 days. I don't know how long it's going to last. Who knows? Uh... It doesn't even tell me here as well. Um, maybe we can get some technology in the future that's telling me how long it's going to do it. I don't know. I've not really got that far. Uh, because I did play this game literally when it first came out, day one. 
and I've been playing it recently on stream as well. So um, I've been enjoying it a lot, and that's why I want to do this series. So what? Yes, this building's now complete as well. The forestry's done, so that means they're now gonna start planting the trees. Cool. So we've got this drought coming, and I do want to see if this dam is gonna hold and make sure that we are gonna have enough water keeping in here uh, as well so these can keep being topped up and using our water right okay so we've got the hauling post done that is now completed we have lowered the unemployment i've now added this little berry location here I put some berry plants the drought is here this is holding our water we have trees growing and as you can see look the water is still inside here being held by our dam although this is dried off and this is going to slowly go down i would think uh, and yeah, and there we have it. Everything is living and striving. So check out my other content if you want to see that. You've got Satisfactory. And check out some of my other uploads that you might like. Who knows? Anyway, as always, thanks for watching. And keep smiling.